What's up guys and welcome to Do You Know How To and today's video I'll be showing you iOS 9 as Apple have released iOS 9 much earlier well, uh, reasonably earlier than they would have said they'd release it roughly around the 20th and as of today's the 17th so yeah I'm going to go through some of the tips and review it roughly so yeah for a start iOS 9 is considerably similar to iOS 8 with not many changes but the changes you could tell the difference so if you go to multitasking, you can see the difference like straight away. Back then it was, you know, you could see each app and then you flip, you scroll through them. But now you just scroll up and the whole screen pops up. So on the old one, only the apps would like pop and then the background would still be there. Now the whole screen pops up. So yeah, that's one change. Another change is Siri. Hi. Hello. So Siri is a lot faster now they've made big update to it they've changed the look of siri they've changed it up a lot and they made it like it can do it's more useful so if you were to say to siri what can you do these are all the things siri could do whereas on ios 7 it couldn't do as many as it can now so they've made a massive impact on siri as they're trying to you know use it more as in let's say if you were to type something on somewhere you would type something, you go here, you can use Siri, hello, and whatnot. So you could change it up. Another big change where is they've taken a spec from iOS 6. Is if you scroll to the left, you've got this page again. The same page as you had it back on iOS 6, which they removed for iOS 7 and 8, the slide left. So what you could search for stuff much easier and you could go directly to applications. Whereas you could do it this way as well. So the same. And finally, if you go to settings, when you were to update to iOS 9, you go to general and it will tell you you have an hour extra battery life. So as from iOS 8 to 9, it will give you a whole hour more usage. So on I on iPhones and that, you could actually change it to power saving mode. You don't have that on iPad, but yeah, you could change it to that. So yeah, that's iOS 9. It's meant to be a lot faster. I've, I can feel the difference slightly. And yeah, it's much better than I was 8, what I think. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe.